Hi everyone, welcome to my channel STB Academy. Today topic is solenoid. So taking a straight wire, so this is a copper wire you can take. Copper wire. Wrap this copper wire in the form of cylindrical loop like this, cylindrical form. You can uh, wrap like this. That will be connected, so you can wrap like this. That will be connected to the circuit. So I'm considering a so battery here, like this. So switch I'm considering here, then the current will pass through it. So positive terminal, negative terminal. Current is passing through the connector. So like this current is passing. Okay. So to draw the proper diagram, so I'm considering the line nine lines in between this one, one, two, and three, four, five, six. Six like this and seven. You can take here eight, eight here like this, and you can take nine over here like this. So I'm considering the nine lines. So after taking, so you can draw, you can join those two. So top three lines one and two like this and three so i'm joining three lines okay so you can take like this shown in the figure and middle one uh, you can take like this and join remaining bottom three lines one and two and next one three so like this you can draw, then you can take so you can consider like this. Here you have to observe the current is moving, the current is reaching to this point, then magnet will also will reach, then we can consider this is south pole. So you can take the magnet like this you can consider this is south pole and here this side you can observe so the magnet field is leaving from this pole then this will be considered north pole. If you take a magnet so the magnet field always from north pole to south pole so like this, so if it is leaving means it's a north pole, reaching means a south pole. So magnet field you can observe. So here the magnet field is reaching, so that is south pole. Here the magnet field is leaving, so that is north pole. Okay. So by this, uh, we can identify magnet field is like this direction. How we can able to identify these poles? So north pole or south pole? First method, uh, we can use the compass. We can identify when it is deflection moving away, then it is north pole. So they like att uh, attracting towards this pole means that is called south pole. By using clock phase rule, well also we can able to identify clock phase rule. That is, if the current is moving in a loop. So this side you can consider if the current is moving in an anti-clockwise direction. So this this phase, if you see towards this phase, current is moving in an anti-clockwise direction. That is north pole. If the current is moving in a clockwise direction, that will be considered south pole. So here you can observe that is south. So you can observe this is a clock phase rule. Clock phase rule. So the not uh, clockwise clock phase rule because when you're looking at that surf 
when you are looking at this side, so that is facing us. So, whether it is moving uh, clockwise direction means that is south pole, when it is moving, the, what, what is moving? Current, current is moving in this side. So, inside of the conductor in the form of clockwise direction means south pole. If the current is moving in the direction of anti-clockwise direction means that is north pole. So, by using clock phase rule, we can able to identify the poles of the solenoid. Here you see, so take the copper wire bent in the form of cylindrical loop or wrapped in the form of cylindrical loop. Okay. So, if you connect to the battery, it acts as a magnet, current carrying conductor acts as a magnet field. Whatever the, this blue, blue lines, those are representing the magnetic field. So, this is magnetic field magnetic field around a current carrying conductor if you can observe so the magnet uh, magnetic field will be outside of the outside of the loop is north to south here also we can take how we can be able to identify the poles of the solenoid so by using clock phase rule so it is facing right towards this one it is facing this face if the current is moving inside of the loop, inside of the conductor in the anti-clockwise direction, that is north pole. If it is the current is moving, so this side direction you can see, this space. The current is moving inside of the conductor or nothing but loop in a clockwise direction, that is called south pole. So, this is about solenoid. Thank you so much.